You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today basically gonna be unwinding my weekend uh talking about from the start of Saturday to the end of yesterday and just the roller coaster that it was I what exactly happened because there are a lot of misconceptions out there on what exactly happened and and, and just stuff like that so before we dive any further into that, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 90,000 subscribers. So I'm just going to start at the start of yesterday uh, and just kind of break down exactly what happened. So leading up to the current gen and next gen tournament, I had been basically just playing on current gen. My main focus was on current gen and the main reason for that is because I felt like I was the best current gen player in NBA 2K22 matches. On both consoles, I don't think there's one player that is still to this day a better player on current gen. We're going to be starting at, at the start of yesterday. So, did my normal routine, you know, woke up, uh, went to work out, drank my, my, my smoothie that I always drink. Literally even drank one yesterday because uh, I, I, you know, it was just like just in case. But Saturday, uh, that normal routine, went through it all. Uh, in the morning, I changed my password, okay? To my account, I changed my password in the morning. Cause I was like, I just don't want to, people, people had access to my account. Not very many. One person had access to my account. And I was like, I don't want him accidentally logging me off. So I changed my password. That was super early on. I also put my account on lock it down just in case anything weird happened. Didn't really have any issues. Played my first game after the first game. Logged off the Xbox, reset my IP like I always do. Logged back on, no issues for the second game. Now logging on, I did it. A different way like I did it through uh, you can use a different method which basically takes you to the online website that's what I did the first time I had no problem now after the second game did the same thing reset my IP I actually after the second game uh, reset IP obviously you have to reset your internet after that I went outside for a little bit because I just I, I felt exhausted felt like I needed a, a breath of fresh air Come back inside, turn the Xbox on, and I have to re-log in. And again, I, 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 I was doing like a screen share, and so I, I, I got out of it, but I was like, just in case somebody can see my screen, I don't want them seeing my password, obviously. So what I did is I did the login through the website thing again, and I, I was already logged in on Xbox, on, on the website. But for some reason, it like got messed up, and, and the password didn't work, and I don't even know. Basically, was telling me that I couldn't log in. And I was at like, you know, 350, 355. And so I was like, okay, I, I guess I just got to reset password again. And so I reset the password. Okay, I reset the password. And at that point, after I reset the password for the second time, I obviously knew what it was, tried logging in. And for whatever reason, the password just didn't work. I, I don't know why. Password just was not working to what I just reset it. And so I reset it again. And again, the password didn't work. And so I I don't know exactly what happened. I'm not gonna say it's for sure a, a Xbox issue because I, I look I don't want to say for sure, but I wrote my password in my notes as I came up with it. You have to type your password in twice. There's no way I'm accidentally typing my password in wrong two times in a row to put it in my notes to not remember. It's just not not gonna happen. And it all happened so quickly, so I can't like rewind time to figure out exactly you know what happened, but. I, I don't know. I, I really do think, I, I don't, again, I don't want to sit here and, and say for sure, but I do think it was an Xbox mistake. Um, I, I firmly believe that for whatever reason, my account got locked after I had to change password for the second time after it, you know, it just made that little uh, kind of error after I tried logging in online. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, and the worst part about it is I spent over the course of that next 24 hours on, on the line with Xbox support on the phone. And they had no answers for me. They said, it, it's it's a technical issue. We can't go in and manually remove it on your account. And I told them, you're literally, I'm in the semifinals on the Xbox. This was yesterday. I told them I'm in the semifinals. I need it now. And they said, we can't do it. I said, I can prove my identity in whatever whatever way possible. And they, they still said, it's a 24 hour hold is what they said on my account for no reason. I mean, look guys. I changed my password at the start of the day to try to take precautions. I put lock it down on my account to try to take precautions on current gen. And it's like I, I, I took every measure, changed an IP, like every measure to make sure nothing weird happened. And still it was like still something weird happened. And I, I'm not going to sit here and say like uh, that, that, that 
it was a perfect road for everybody else because so in the first round obviously had to go through something because I don't know if his internet went out or if he got booted offline. But that's why I do change IP because I don't want to get booted offline. I don't want anything weird to accidentally take place. So that's why I do take the safety precautions that I do. Uh, and I live with it, man. I, I live with it. A, a fluke thing happened. Uh, but I would be lying to sit here and say that for those 24 hours after that, I was not a, a, just all over the place, man. I, I don't want to say sit here and say it was the lowest time of my life, but it might have been. And that feeling of talking to eight, nine, ten different people from Xbox and then literally giving me no answers after I proved it's my identity to get my account back. I, I had no answers. They had no answers for me. They couldn't do anything, which is something I think Xbox needs to change. If somebody desperately needs their account, let's say there's a big Madden tournament and that happens to them, they should be able to have a way to get it back. It's just that simple. There should not be just this 24-hour method uh, that, that, again, when I don't even feel like it's my fault. I get why Xbox does it, but nobody else tried signing into my account, unless they did, and unless that's just what happened. Somebody, you know, tried signing in, and for some reason it triggered something and locked it down. I don't know exactly what happened, guys. I still don't know to this day. All I really can tell you is that uh, somewhere along the line, it's either, I guess, my fault, Xbox's fault, or somebody else's fault. I, I don't know. I, I can't really sit up here and tell you all I can say is uh, there's no way I'm forgetting two back-to-back -back passwords. That's, that's all I can sit here up here and tell you guys. So something went wrong, obviously, in there. But for those next 24 hours, I tried everything, man. Contacted Xbox, was talking to people through 2K. Ended up getting disqualified on current gen. Uh, they gave me, you know, two, two and a half hours, pushed things back to try to figure it out. They had no answers. Xbox had no answers. And so I got disqualified, basically, for, or, or for, I had to forfeit for no reason. Um, and it, it, it kind of stunk because, look, man, current gen's what I had worked so hard for. That's what I prepared all year for, got to the semifinals, my matchup. I, I love Newman, but I mean, look, guys. He was running Trey Young. I, I love Newman. It probably would have been a good game. But I think I, I, I had a good opportunity, man, uh, to, to win. I really do. And so it's, it's just one of those things that it just, for whatever reason, didn't work out for me. The problem was I wasn't sure when I was going to get access to my account back. You know, they say 24 hours since your last try. Well, I was trying all morning uh, the, the following Sunday. I, I was trying all morning to log in because I was like, look, man, I, I, need, I need to find a way. So basically what happened that morning, I tried, you know, up until like eight o'clock to log in. After that, I said, look, I, I'm, I'm giving up. I'll, I'll try again 15 minutes before my game. And, and it just so, it, you know, maybe the, the security system will, will just chill. And, uh, and so for those, you know, 24 hours before I tried again, it was just like, I, I could hardly move. The, to describe like the feeling of just being hopeless in that scenario, it, it was just crazy. I, I, I was physically like, sick ill i don't even know how to describe it i could hardly move i just I, I wasn't even mad mad's not the right feeling it was just like hopeless upset it's kind of the only feeling i had because it was out of my control I, I i felt like i took the measures necessary to make sure nothing weird would happen and then something weird fluky happened and i got disqualified for a, a chance at, at you know two hundred fifty thousand dollars. worst case scenario there's eight people left in the tournament okay at that point you guys take $250,000 divided by eight. That's just if I have an average chance, which I think I at least had a better than average chance. So that's the money I at least lost out on because of some fluky thing with Xbox, okay? Just just throwing it out there, that's, that's just what I lost out on. But it was what it was. I couldn't control that. All I could do is is, is really just sit there. I, I, I didn't play next gen at all because there's no reason for me to load up next gen just for me not to get my account back. Try telling 2K, you know, just let me play on a different account. Nobody's got a better account than me. Let me play on a dev account. They said no. You know, that's against our rules or whatever else. So really my only hope was to be able to log in on next gen at that four o'clock. But I mean, again, I still was on Xbox. Three different people on the phone at once. Nobody could help. Literally nobody could help. And, and that's what I needed. I just needed some sort of help, some way for them to, to log in or to, to let me be able to, to just remove that account, click the forgot password thing. And, and they had no way. They said they would have had a way if I didn't have two-step verification on, which doesn't even make sense in the, in the grand scheme of things. But look, guys, I tried everything. 
the next day, uh, I, I, I hardly ate. I still did go drink my smoothie because uh, my girl made me. She, she said, let's, let's go get your smoothie. That, that's your good luck in case you can play. On the way, I remember she asked me, like, are you optimistic at all? Do you have any hope? And I said, nah, this, like, I, I don't have any hope. If Xbox physically, as their multi, like, as much as, as their company is worth, cannot find a way to make them, uh, make this happen, there's no way I'm going to be able to play. Okay, so, I mean, I, I literally took a nap, you know, an hour before I played. I was just laying in bed, just, you know, sick. And so, you know, four o'clock central time rolled around and I said, I'm just going to try it one more time. That's what I tried. That's what my, my, my plan was to just try it one more time and see what happens. I loaded up. I had deleted my account off my Xbox just to try things. It didn't work. Loaded my account up, typed in the email. Okay, clicked forgot password. I had to type in letters. You have to ever type in those letters that you can hardly see what they are. Like I mistyped those letters two times in a row. And I was like, is, if, is, if this locks me out of my account, I'm gonna lose my mind because I mistyped them twice in a row because I can hardly see them. They want to make sure it's not a robot and I can, I can hardly see them. Anyways, ended up finally typing those in right. They sent a code over. Finally, it was, it was, I didn't get the code up. You've requested too many codes today. They actually sent me the code. I typed that thing in. I was able to make a new password. I literally, I, I, I have a girl here. I said, look, see what I'm typing. Make sure I'm typing exactly like what I'm planning because I don't want anything to like get messed up again. It worked, man. I was able to access my account. I had 10 minutes left before game time and I didn't even have my lineup. I literally didn't even have my lineup. I didn't have a complete lineup. Didn't even have Luka Doncic at that time because guys, I could not access my account to buy new players and I, I was gonna just pick up Luka after current gen completed because he's not really great on, on current gen. So just kind of how things went. I had 10 minutes, picked up a base Luka, applied a few extra of favors that I just had, you know, sitting in my collection. And that's really, you know, all I could do. Applied those Hall of Famers, gave him a random diamond shoe, and we hooped, man. We hooped. And uh, I, again, we're going to kind of go through the game by game process uh, later through my YouTube channel. But to describe my weekend in, in, in one word, I, I would, or two words, I would just say a roller coaster, man. Uh, I experienced the uh, highest of highs uh, with yesterday. And I experienced the lowest of lows. Again, I don't necessarily want to say it was the lowest point of my life, but I was sad, man. I mean, it just, it was just a different feeling. Like I, I'd been like, you know, in tears more so before yesterday. Cause I don't even know if I cried much yesterday or two days ago. It was just like, I just felt hopeless. I just felt sad, but I like couldn't even express anything. Cause I could hardly talk, man. Just one of those feelings. I would never wish upon anybody because it, it was just terrible, but Look, guys, uh, I would say on current gen, I wasn't really playing that well uh, on Saturday. I don't know what it was. I, I didn't really, I mean, against Paige, I got down, you know, and, and came back. But I really wasn't playing too well on Saturday. I, I, not to say I wouldn't have won. I figured it out. But I was more in my flow on Sunday anyway. After not playing next gen for two weeks, just kind of an incredible, incredible uh, journey this weekend. I, I Again, I don't know how I played so well on Sunday uh, on next gen. Because look, guys, I had not touched next gen in two weeks. I, I, my main focus was on current gen, and then I said on next gen, whatever happens, happens. And I, I guess something took over me. God uh, blessed me with uh, just a, a chance to compete, an opportunity, and uh, and He blessed me just with the abilities yesterday as well. Because I, I I'm not as good as I played yesterday on next gen, and that's really all I can say. Um, but yeah, these last, these last 24 or so hours, or well, more than that now, but the last couple of days, man, have just been a roller coaster. I, I, I was about uh, to call it quits. If, if I would have been locked out and not able to compete on next gen, I probably would have called it quits because you worked so hard all year for this chance, this opportunity, um, and, and, and it just to be thrown down the drain. And I, it's one thing if I lose to page your first round. Uh, but I, I was 2-0, man. I really went 6-0 and this weekend. And I was 2-0. And, and it, it stinks that I just didn't get the opportunity to hoop, man. All you want is the chance to hoop. And I didn't get that on current gen. And so that's that, that was really kind of hard for me. Just knowing, uh, especially at the opportunity I just lost out on. I love Swaggy to death. I'm glad everything worked out in the way it did. Because I told Swaggy before, man, let's just split. I get current gen. You get next gen. Because that's where we were better. I mean, Swaggy's better on next gen. I'm probably better on current gen. For whatever reason, God had this scripted, had this planned it. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know what else I could even say, guys. 
I just want to say, guys, thank you for the support this weekend. It was unreal, to say the least. Y'all's support was just incredible. Seeing the, the hashtag Let Ty Play just all over my team's Twitter when they posted, you know, about the tournament. It's just unreal, man. Uh, the support from my family uh, and just everybody in my DMs trying to help. I appreciate it, man. I had so many different people reach out to me trying to find a way to make this happen. It's just something fluke, man. It's something fluke. I mean, I would, I'm would. i still kind of upset at, at Xbox, Microsoft because I feel like personally there's got to be a way uh, for somebody that does need their account back to get it back outside of just waiting 24 hours. I feel like Microsoft needs to fix that or, or, or you know do something better with that. But that's, again, something fluky. It's probably never going to happen to me again. So I, I, I know yesterday I said I was going back to PlayStation after this. Is that true? I don't know, man. We'll just have to decide that at a later date. All I can tell you guys is uh, thank you guys. I love every single one of y'all. I'm glad I can record today and not, you know, just be sad. I'm glad I can I can just, you know, let some of my emotions out uh, and just say I'm thankful for y'all. Y'all bless me more than I can say uh, throughout my journey on YouTube, throughout my journey in competitive my team. And I'm super grateful for each and every one of y'all, man. Thank you guys so, so much. I love y'all, man. The roller coaster these past two days, the past weekend, is something I I, I can't even explain. I, I tried to put it into words, but I, I don't even think that does it justice. Literally couldn't move on Saturday night. I couldn't move. I could not move. I could hardly get words out. I literally felt like I was just not even myself. I, I, I couldn't. I was ill. Literally ill. And then in, in 15 minutes, I had to, or nine minutes, basically, I had to get my lineup set, apply shoes. It was just the biggest roller coaster of my entire life but it's gonna wrap it up for the video guys just kind of clarification on some things i know a lot of people said ty got hacked i don't even know if that's what happened i really don't know what happened i just think it was a malfunction xbox microsoft system just something fluky but it is what it is you know god god had this plan for whatever reason and i'm super super grateful for that hopefully you guys did enjoy the video guys drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys have a blessed day